What's up, fire signs? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with your weekly vibe. So let's see what's coming in this week for Aries, a Leo, as well as Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the weekly vibes. What's coming in for the weekly vibes? I'm already seeing fast praying detox. So if y'all feeling some kind of way, do what y'all gotta do. I'm getting a vengeful energy around y'all, okay? We gonna put that back though, because it came out in the clump, but I saw it. What else is coming in for fire signs? Making love to you in a dream state. Oh my goodness. Listen, somebody having a way with y'all. They want a ro more romantic energy out of you, and I feel like they're trying to get that. All right, so that's maybe why Spirit is saying fast, pray, and detox. I feel like you once triggered this person. Now they want you, okay? They want you. They want you to have a more romantic and seductive energy towards them, and that's what they're trying to invoke. So what they wanted for you is now happening, and that's why y'all being asked to Fast praying detox. Man, my nips getting hard. What's going on? What is this person doing? I don't like this energy. I it feel intrusive. Okay. Yeah. This person may love your freckles if y'all got them or this person may have them. Okay, y'all. Uh, for some of y'all, this person may be same sex and trying to come up in your dream state. So just watch out because that's real intrusive, especially if y'all not also a lesbian. All right. Yeah, what y'all gonna notice about this uh, energy that's pulling on y'all sexually is that it is really, really draining y'all energy. So just know if y'all like pass out into a nap or something, that somebody pulling on y'all sexually because somebody is trying to like travel, travel to the dream state to like make love to you, pull on your energy. It, oh, this person may be trying to be a vehicle, trying to be your vehicle. Y'all, it's like somebody trying to step so deep into your energetic field that they like driving you. And it's exhausting the hell out of y'all this week. Fast pray and detox, y'all. And if y'all know who I'm talking about, especially if this on some same sex shit and somebody coming up in your dreams trying to be scissor sisters, when you know you strictly dickly, then you know what's up. It's time to cleanse your energy because somebody here is addicted to your energy. This may be somebody that's very well established. Maybe they feel like, you know, once they get your attention, then that's it. Yeah, this person want to be like, I'm telling you, like this person want to drive you. Because it's saying, I want your life. So it's like this person want to be like in your vessel, physical touch, keeping up with the Joneses. You're my dream woman, hotel room, big banana energy in reverse, big strap energy, shit. For some of y'all, this is definitely like somebody of the same sex that's trying to seduce y'all. So if y'all start getting the urge on some uh, LGBT-ish and y'all know y'all not LGBT-ish, then... Yeah, because for some, I'm getting it the other way around for the males, too. I had already got lesbian. Now I'm getting feminine man. So this could be going both ways, y'all. Fire signs, y'all could be having the same sex trying to seduce y'all into a relationship. And they feel like once you, once they bait you, once you fall for the bait and you like flirt or open up some type of door or opportunity, then they gonna start to buy you, like treat you on vacations to self-care, um, you know, to chill and like bring all of the amenities, buying you gifts and stuff like that. New shoes, new clothes, new time pieces, new expensive glasses and caps, okay? Uh, expensive dinners and desserts, spa days, all kind of things. Gym memberships I'm hearing. God dang. Y'all, life number, uh, life path number 11, 22, 33, or 44. So y'all have an important life mission and that may be why this agent trying to come in and sell y'all so I thought a bummy bitch said something. So whoever this is really feel like they can upgrade you. Because they feel like, oh, you know, you might you might be a master at something. Or you may be meant to master something in this lifetime or whatever the case is. But right now, you know, what your financial status is not reflecting your vibration. So, you know, I'm just going to bait you with the money. They Somebody here want to bait you with money. Okay. 
this is somebody that got daddy issues. So I'm getting for those of you where it's a feminine energy. She could be a masculine feminine. Unrequited love in reverse. I'm telling you, somebody, somebody of the same sex is trying to come in. And y'all grandfather ain't having it. All right? Y'all grandfather is not having it. And I feel like this is a past over loved one. So you got an ancestor where this person trying to sneak into your energy because they secretly jealous of the people you actually give a genuine chance to. It's a setup. It's a setup because this person want a coattail right and backbite. This person like want to attach themselves to you energetically, but y'all protected. And this person playing with fire. They better find something safe to do, a playground to play at, and not in your motherfucking energy, okay? Because y'all passed over grandfather ain't playing. All right, yeah, this person is clever and mischievous. They may look beautiful and stuff like that, and they may have good luck when it comes down to money, but it's obvious that the desperate measures that this person is willing to take, they don't have good luck and love. All right, y'all? Yes. For some of y'all, y'all in a relationship, this person trying to bait you into an affair, okay? Acts of service, I'm telling you. Uh, this is somebody that'll come outside and they've been, um, you come outside, they've been, um, blew your leaves and took your trash to the front and watered your grass. And you just like, why is you doing all that? Y'all lump sum of money coming in. I'm telling you, this person may be trying to lure y'all away from a connection that you meant to have a spirit child in. All right. Y'all, this person may wear their hair blonde or it may be like that. Like if they older, it may be like white. All right. Damn. <laughs> y'all, I'm not even about to play with y'all today. Strap play. I'm not gay. Oh my God, y'all. I'm telling y'all, this is a stud. This is an old ass stud, it seemed like. Woke up and chose violence because somebody is finding out you in a relationship. This person willing to empty out their fucking bank account for you. Ooh, child, what is going on? Yeah, so if y'all have some type of company, I got a crush on you. I love me some you. This person trying to show the fuck off. Why her in reverse? Keep my name out your mouth. Friend zone, because you're not gay. I think uh, time boy, y'all. It's a it's a stud. It's a it's a stud, and this person is very jealous, very fixated. Oh my god, y'all. Who is this? This person is trying to like open up their throat chakra so that they can express how they feel to you. That this person's worst nightmare is you giving your body to somebody else. But you divinely protected, okay? Man. For some of you, this person got their eye on y'all child. Mm -mm. Or this person is way fucking older than you. Like, you young enough to be their daughter. Oof. Y'all. Or... Who is this? Is this like y'all mama friend or something? I'm just, I'm going to pull a couple more just to see if we can find out where y'all know this person from. Because I don't want to ignore that pedo energy, but at the same time, I kind of feel like this person may just be old enough to be your parent. Because from that blonde, I was literally getting really for real, like, platinum blonde like gray okay so let's see all right holy spirit where does the collective of fire signs know this person from it might be different for all y'all and stds keep coming out <laughs> like i don't know what's going on with that a lot of reptilian energy y'all might attract a lot of reptiles okay this person definitely speaking over your life but they too low life to attract you or be in your energy who is this to the collective? Who do they, where do they know this person from? Is this a coworker, a friend, a friend of a family? They may know your stepfather for some of you. Okay, gossip. For some of you, they know your uncle or somebody that people call unk. 
they hoping to be some new love and this person trying to figure out your birth chart somehow to get that to happen okay this person may be an aquarius which i'm not happy to admit but it might be aquarius moon or venus they may have international roots you like that's not my fucking problem they like i'm gonna make it your problem i'm gonna get an energetic upgrade and get your ass update y'all vision board especially when it comes down to the people you be around okay public relationship keeping up with the joneses so that's what they want y'all might have a public relationship and they wish they was in your partner's shoes y'all because this person disappointed about a new relationship y'all in this person trying to snatch your beauty and y'all i feel like they trying to attack your womb because i really saw multiple stds come out i feel like this person trying to attack your womb put gym spirits on y'all womb y'all but y'all protected from evil this person better watch the fuck out because they already seem old as shit being childish So just watch out this week, y'all, because if somebody actually approach y'all and they like a masculine woman uh, and they a little older to you or whatever, for some of y'all, they may just have blonde hair, but I, I'm not going to lie. I was picking up for somebody specifically that that, that blonde is like really like uh, maybe that person has sandy brown hair when they had darker hair or before they grays came in. So it might look a little bit like blonde, okay? But it's really that their hair is gray and it have that like tint of blondness on it still. Okay, so let's see. What else coming in for fire signs? So yeah, y'all got to oh, y'all. This person really, really wish that y'all was like codependent because they've been able to do this with young people before, but these young people didn't have it together. You do. You do. Y'all ten of cups in reverse. This person, they trying to break up some happy situation or trying to cause a situation where you got to make a decision. For some of you, this may even be a friend of yours and maybe your spouse is telling you, you got to choose between them or me. Like either you want to stay friends with them, even though I can feel the tension between you and this person or between them to you or, you know, whatever. But y'all got to make a decision. Release yourself from that which holds y'all back. A need to detox, like I said, because this person is putting shit on y'all energy. Okay, yeah, it is blocked. But regardless to what, it's like this person making awful ass attempts. And they trying to stop some type of new beginning. Okay, and I feel like that's going to be revealed to y'all this week. Okay, so if you and a partner break up, just know it's because of this person and y'all will forgive each other and come back together. Okay, I'm seeing that. But this person definitely doing some heavy sex magic to try to bind you is what I'm getting here. This person is trying to humble you in some kind of way, maybe financially, because like I said, whoever this person is, it's like... um they they like to they like to like hover over people with their money you know so that they can get what they want so people can want to surround themselves with them feeling like they you know they have riches they have wealth they have everything you need you get what i'm saying yeah this person may express some shit that might tell on them this week especially if you watch this reading and that person's actions is confirmation this person been waiting to say something to you to be vulnerable about how they feel they even been getting people to try to help them do magic magic okay yeah hoping that it's gonna be some type of positive out outcome or turn but this person just wearing they ass out because they a fucking baby witch they barely know what they doing and they getting some masculine to try to do some shit as well are they trying to um throw some type of emotional trauma towards your relationship to cause your partner to give you the silent treatment y'all this person is psycho they a fucking psycho for real Okay, so why is the nine of pentacles in reverse here? Because somebody wants you to be broke. So if you've been noticing an incline, decline in your money, as long as you're around this person or they trying to block your income, literally, you got to stop hanging around this person. Yeah, you get your justice because y'all might have went through a period where y'all money was compromised. It was because of this person. Ten of cups in reverse. They trying to break something up. 
Yes, they trying to call. They might be throwing chaos magic at y'all relationship. Meanwhile, sex magic at you. It's kind of crazy. Decision. Why is decision here? Damn, y'all. This came out in clump. Y'all, I'm telling you, this person got a decision to cut this off and stop and just walk away from this because they get ready to be hunted. And when I say like y'all, y'all, um, it's like y'all's freaking ancestors finna come in like Edward Scissorhands and cut any cords that this person done made. All right. Yeah, this person is a lot older. Giving very much Medusa vibes. And that may be some type of curse they have on them as to why they have to do all of these forms of magic just to get somebody to turn their attention towards them. Because who? Who? Who going to be this freaking thirsty, bro? This too pressed. This way too pressed. Something could have happened to them in the past. In fact, something happened to them to why they even a lesbian to begin with. Yeah. Y'all... They could have did something. They could have turned a man down or something like that in the past. And that man might have cursed them. Okay. Because I feel like now it's hard for this woman to get love. Whoever this is, it's hard. It's like people scared of them. Okay. Or things just come to an abrupt stop. They might have did something. Like they might have kicked a man in the balls or something. Like let's say a man was trying to press them for something. And it's like, you know how men can do that sometimes, even when they know you a lesbian. It's like this person could have need somebody in the balls or something. Um, did something to hurt them to get them off of them. And I'm telling you, this person did something to curse this person's looks. And that's why Beauty Snatcher came up. So if this person didn't try to snatch your beauty, somebody snatched theirs back in the day. And I feel like even if to the naked eye, this person looks fine, it's like the way people, the way that people that they want to pursue see them, it's like, oh, hmm, jump scare. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing jump scare vibes. Okay. Hmm. All right. Yeah, eight of wands in reverse. Yeah, this is gonna be revealed to y'all this week, y'all. For some of y'all, this y'all mama friend. Okay, y'all mama friend, y'all daddy friend, y'all stepdaddy friend, somebody like that. That's why it's coming up keto ish because this person like old enough to be your parent. Okay, and beyond. Seven of cups in reverse. Yeah, I'm telling you, uh, it's being revealed to this person this week um, that the reason why, like, everything becomes balanced out for you is that you are Earth Angel or, you know, all of that master number 11, 22, 33, 44 that this person just thought wasn't shit. It's like, no, I can still humble this person and make them bow down and make them be with me, you know, convince them or whatever. It's like anything that's under deception... When it comes down to love for y'all, it's going to be revealed to y'all because y'all are earth angel. Y'all not meant to experience this type of love or y'all not meant to surrender to this type of thing. So love spells may not work on you. They may actually backfire and make obsessive people even more obsessive. Okay. But the angels are working in your favor. So it's like basically the universe be giving people lie detector tests before they can even come towards you. It's like, oh. That was a lie. Like, you're not really interested in this person. You're just trying to dominate them. You're just trying to conquer them. You're just trying to get their inheritance. You're just trying to distract them. You're just an agent. You know? It's like your angels be looking out in that way. Okay? Yeah. King of Swords in reverse. This could be like a narcissistic female. Or somebody that just tried to target you as the person that they was just going to play ball on. And I just literally heard it like that. Like, play ball. Yeah. But this person ain't even get the first base. All right, y'all. I'm telling you. It's like if this person stop now, stop while they ahead, they'll be forgiven by the universe. Because you got a new beginning right here. Yeah, a new home. Yes, y'all about to move. Okay, so for some of you, this may be an actual neighbor. All right. And maybe your, maybe your stepfather or your father or whoever it, this man is, uh, the king of cups in reverse, but they coming up like a parent to you. 
okay? Uh, it's like that person could have, um, like, you know, whatever. This this is like pulling off from your house and talking to one of your neighbors and a conversation lasting a lot longer than what you think because your ass done settled up in the house. You ain't looking outside to make sure people pull it all the way off. Okay, so y'all just be careful because y'all got somebody weird in y'all energy, definitely trying to manipulate y'all um, through sex magic and chaos magic towards your relationship, trying to break you up from somebody and notice them or like so they can see you crying and ask what's wrong and then from there just try to swoop in. But this person just being weird because they way too old for that. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe and I'll check you guys out in the next one. Peace.